Hey, how's it going guys? This is Jason from microsoundingsupply.com and today we've got another issue with a MacBook board that does not turn on. This is an interesting one with the SPI termination bus that we see from time to time, but before we take a look at that, I just wanted to let you know about our website. So if you're a computer shop, phone shop, technician, tinker, or anyone looking for microsoundering parts, tools, or supplies, check us out online at microsoundingsupply.com. We've got a ton of parts ranging from iPhones to iPads, MacBooks, PS4s, Xboxes, uh, Nintendo Switches, and all the tools as well. Everything is stocked and shipped in the US, and if you're in the U States, you're eligible for free two-day shipping. So now let's head into the shop and get started. As always to start, we're gonna start by plugging in the charger. And I get a light on the charger, but the fan is not spinning. So the first thing I'm gonna check is the power rails. And I'm gonna start with PB Bosch E3 Hot and PB3 V3 S5. And PB Bosch E3 Hot is 8.6 volts and PB3 V3 S5 is 3.3 volts. So those are both good. Next, we're gonna to go to PP5 VS4 and PP5 VS4 with power cycling. Same thing with PP1 VO5 SO and PP DDR S3. So in other words, all our power rails above S4 state are power cycling. Now knowing this, I'm gonna move on to checking the board for liquid damage. And as always, we're gonna start with the top edge of the board where the vents are. Of course, everything looks perfectly clean. And so we move on to the back side, which also looks perfectly clean. Now here we've got our clock chip, and next to it is the SPI ROM, and right next to it we've got a tiny little spot of corrosion, and this is right along the top edge of the board where the vents are. This is particularly interesting because it's our only spot of corrosion on the board right next to the SPI ROM, and so this is our only hint as to why this board is not turning on. Now when I try to clean this up with a Q-tip and an X-Acto knife, it turns out the test point is completely corroded off the board. Now the test point that's broken is this little test point here, SPI CSOL. And if we search that up on the schematic, we can find it right here, going between R6110 and R6120. Now this section of the schematic is called the SPI bus series termination. And you can see on one side we've got our CPU, and on the other side we've got our SPI ROM. Now the reason the CPU is talking to the SPI ROM is because the SPI ROM holds its firmware or the instruction set for the CPU. The CPU talks to the SPI ROM via these four lines here which form the SPI, SPI bus. Now if one of these resistors along the SPI bus was blown or one of these traces going between them is broken then the CPU will not be able to communicate with its SPI ROM and will not be able to get its instructions. In our case, we know that all the power rails above S4 are power cycling. And we know that our S4 power rails are enabled by PM Sleep S4L. And PM Sleep S4L shows up right here, coming out, as you can see, of U0500. Now, U0500 is our PCH and CPU. So, because our S4 power rails and above our power cycling, PM Sleep S4L is not being enabled properly by U0500. And U0500 is not enabling PM Sleep S4L properly because it's unable to talk with its SPI ROM and get its instructions. Because the point has been corroded off the board, I suspect there's no continuity going between R6110 and R6120. Therefore, the CPU is unable to communicate with the SPI ROM. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my multimeter to test for that. So I found R6110 and R6120 on the board view, and so now I'm just going to find it on the board. And then I'm gonna put my black probe on pin two of R6110 and my red probe on pin one of R6120. And I'm gonna measure 15 million ohms. Now just to verify this, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on a donor board. And here I have full continuity. So obviously this corroded test point is causing a break in the line uh, going between R6110 and R6120. Unfortunately at this point, when I start doing the actual soldering, my computer stops recording. There's not really much to it though. Basically what I did is just I ran a wire from R6110 to R6120 in order to fix the break in the line. So that's repairing the SPI termination bus 
on an 820-3437 MacBook Air. As you can see, once you know where to look, it's a simple and straightforward board repair, and all you have to do is connect the dots. Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to check us out online at microsolderingsupply.com for all your board repair needs.